Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnusculpt technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnusculpt will make your dreams come true. All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Superliminal. Uh, let's see, so if you're wondering why I'm doing this intro on the... Yep, hi. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. If you're wondering why I'm doing the intro here as opposed to the main menu, it's because I was having a weird mouse problem. I'm going to talk about that a little bit, uh, just because some of you guys might have this problem too. Oh boy, we need V-Sync on, and we need it on hard. Uh, okay, that's better. That's much better. I've actually never seen a situation where I needed V-Sync before, but this is the first thing that did. Anyway, when I first loaded this game, my mouse was moving around really sluggishly, like there was some kind of weird jacked up uh, mouse acceleration going on. Uh, I fixed it by going into windowed mode and then back to full screen mode, which let my mouse move around as normal. I don't know if any of you guys are going to deal with this, but I figured I'd put that in the beginning of the video, just in case somebody picks this game up and is like, why does my mouse move stupid? And the answer is, I don't know, but at least there's a fix. Anyway, so what is Superliminal? It's honestly the closest I can compare it to is something like Portal or Stanley Parable, where it's like a, a kind of a mind bender first person puzzle game with a, a silly narrator and kind of a creepy facility that you're working in or walking around in or so on and so forth using forced perspective. It's actually really cool. Apparently it was an internet phenomenon uh, back in, what, 2014 or something like that, and then it went dark for everybody. Everybody thought it was dead, but no, they'd just been slowly adding people and working on the game, and now it's finally out. Uh, I can't read this terms of service. Clinic... Arrangement, phone number, redacted. Yeah, that's concerning. All right, whatever. Who reads the fine print? I should. Anyway. This game's cool. Perception is reality. Grab. Oh, that makes it really small. Okay, we want to do this. There we go. I love the fact that the sound changes when I do this. Okay, so I do have to put it across the corner of the room to make it as big as possible. Eh, that's pretty big. It feels good. I don't know. And then I can trick it all the way back to itsy bitsy little this piece. I guess I'm going to grab one and just bring it with me. This is going to be friend piece. Nope, this is going to be friend piece. Okay, good. I can jump. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Yeah. Okay. Let's just bring this with us. I don't know if there's much of a reason. Oh, right. I forgot. No objects. It won't let it through. Sadness. Oh, well. Okay. Let's grab this. I remember it. I have to... You can't really drop things in this game. It doesn't really work that way, but you know what? That's okay. Come back, Black. You're going to do great things together. Okay, scale it up a bit more. I don't want it to be too big, because then I can't jump up it. There we go. Easy peasy. This game's going to get harder, and it's going to get weird, and... Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. That's creepy. I thought there was a male narrator. 
when I had played this. Because I've played the demo for this game. Uh, specifically, I was at... Uh, the, the only way I even know about this game is actually from from PAX West this year. Where they're just like, hey, you want to check out... You want to check out Superliminal? And I'm like, sure. This seems neat. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Seriously thought there was a male narrator. Weird. It's definitely a fairly smooth process here, though I feel like this is the wrong direction to go. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. But soda. Oh, whatever. Guess I'm just bringing this giant ass soda with me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to use that soda. That's... that's concerning. Can I crouch? No, it doesn't look like I can crouch. Right, one way or another, I gotta figure out... Oh, I see. Dang it. you can see the shadow being cast. Okay. Unless. Maybe it has something to do with the reflection. No. It has nothing to do with the reflection, and it doesn't look like I can do anything down there. Wait, hold up. Are the doors open in this weird reflected universe? Okay. I'm missing something here, but I don't know what it is. Obviously we have broken stuff. I can't go through that. And I can't break this further. Okay. Maybe if I make it bigger, I can break the window more. Hmm. Because, yeah, I... I can't... I can't push it, because no matter what, that this happens. I have no reflection, but that shouldn't surprise anyone. I can't put this through the reflection. Unless, of course... Hmm. making it too small. Uh, well, I said it was a fairly smooth experience, and then I got stuck. Okay, we want to keep it in here. Because that kind of works.
problem is I need to have it be big enough that it can... Well, do I? It needs to be small enough that it can roll through the hole, but big enough that it's not just going to get stuck on the other side. My assumption. Except for that doesn't seem to work. It casts the shadow as though I can put it through. But it doesn't seem to want to. What am I doing wrong here? I am stumped ten minutes into the video. That's usually not a good sign. Because it doesn't look like I can put it back down through there. Unless maybe that's that's it. Maybe it just has to be very small. Yeah, it just had to be that much smaller. Okay. I I wasn't sure. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Hmm. Okay, so that works, but that doesn't work. I guess we should probably figure out where the button is. Button's over there on the left. Okay. Probably shrink it down some more. Okay. Pop it there? Dang it. Uh, oh. Oh, I'm just supposed to get it to the other side. Oh, that's a lot easier. A yeah, mix of overthinking things and slightly obtuse cursor size there. I, I don't know, that, that last one that I got stuck on very much was like a, it should fit, but it's not fitting, and that's just because I guess it needed that much more leeway. What? Okay, so we've got chess room, apples, oh, ew. The interesting thing is, yeah, this just keeps looping. Fun though, but oh boy, I I think I'd be having a panic attack if I was actually stuck in this situation. I'd just be like, ah. But then again, I guess I can keep progressing. Okay, so that door's opening. So what can I do? I guess let's check the window for a second. Don't look like there's anything on the other side. Yeah, that closes. What am I missing here? Oh. I'm always missing something. Okay. Can't move that. Oh, duh. I got it. There's gonna be a lot of moments like that in this game. There we go. <laughs> okay. I get this. It's fun. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Let me guess. This ain't gonna work, or things get way worse. Oh. Whole place is falling apart. Okay. So very clearly, there's holes in the wall. 
Unfortunately, I don't have enough physical mass, so I can't actually push through any of these. I was hoping I could snag like a box or something, but it's that's no good. This looks promising. This is promising. Promising, but how do I get it through? But I, because I can't use it to actually interact with the environment. I guess put the cheese on the button. Brick wall. Yeah. Hmm. Because that's that's the actual exit. I can go back, but there's not much point to it. I guess unless what I'm supposed to do is just like... Yeah, there we go. Just knock it over. Just not care. Interesting. I... You know, no matter what, I'm not going to be able to avoid comparing this to Portal, for example. And... This very much is reminiscent of the point where you go off the rails in Portal and just start leaving the levels and going through some, like, prototype areas and, like, areas that you're very much not supposed to be. But we did that within 15 minutes. I guess it's okay. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're just going down. What's up, clouds? Shut up. It works. It's 3 a.m. and everything is clouds. Sweet B. Well, I most definitely... This is not the right place. Private. Ugh. Ugh, that person's hand. Huh. Brown fire extinguisher. Brown... Fire alarm. That's... That's disconcerting. Can't call anyone. That's just a monitor. Dream soda. Baking soda. Sweet. Don't drink it. I'm just gonna carry my turbo soda around. If anybody shows up, I'm gonna clonk them with it. It'll work, right? Oh, right. I can't interact with the damn thing. Alright, whatever. Can I throw it away? Nope. That's the closest I can do to a civic duty. So now we're in a hotel. Ish. Hmm. That's not helpful. Uh, give me a second. It's, uh Eh. That's about the right place to put it. That, that door functions. Oh, hey, things aren't brown anymore. Good. Color's important. Not exactly a relevant detail. Exit temporarily moved. R. Uh, not exactly a relevant detail to this game, apart from the whole commentary and color thing. But... <laughs> Somebody had a laugh with that one. Uh, let's see... Anything here? No. And this is... Oh. You move closer to it thinking, where am I in this? And it's it's just a hallway that's just super stretched out. Oh, that's... You know, actually, 3D tools probably make this really easy, because all you have to do is just, like, slap the texture down. Kind of, and adjust? And... Yeah, kinda. I can't take the door with me. Alright, whatever. Screw it, door. I don't care. Uh, but as far as, like, colors go, I often, you know, I drive around occasionally. I like a normal human being. I don't know why I need to qualify this necessarily, but still. Uh, but the point is, like, oh, I could interact with something. Oh. Yeah, if you don't look up, you don't notice. Oh, 
Oh shit. It'd be pretty bad if I lost that. Because I need that as my ramp out of here. Uh, but one thing that always kind of grinds my gears, that bugs me... Huh. Is how many houses... Not how many houses, how many cars are just white, black, or some variation of gray or silver or whatnot. And that always makes me a little bit sad, because, like, the world is already kind of a... I mean, okay, nature itself is a colorful place, but, like, huma humanity, human technology, what we have around us is very brown. You know, I've got a black keyboard, admittedly with some nice bright colors coming out of between the, uh, between the keys. Nice black desk, silver monitor, silver monitor... A black backlight thing, kind of a, a tan wall. And you know how important it is actually for the human psyche and emotional health to have some amount of color available to them. And it always bugs me a little bit that everybody always chooses the really boring color cars. Because I feel like we're all communally contributing to this, this really drab experience. Like, I hate driving places. And it's not very fun. And... You know, looking at cars, you know, if every car was super colorful and interesting looking, I think we'd all just be happier. Commutes would be better. Maybe I wouldn't hate driving around Boston so much. Anyway, new cube design. Ah, I'm a pirate. Eggshell, blah, blah, blah. Too much? Huh. What are more red paint? Interesting. I'm just gonna go around. Doesn't look like there's anything major in here. But yeah, I just find myself going around just wishing there was more color. Wishes, wishing things that... Wishing that things would be more exciting to look at and just prettier in general. And so, I don't know, not exactly relevant. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to talk to you about being special. There's the voice actor. So special, in fact that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. I knew the uh, text-to-speech lady was, was weird. Because I knew she wasn't part of the game that I was used to or expecting. There we go. Oh, it just pops into existence. I It popped into existence before I grabbed it. Weird. And a bit, a bit unfortunate. I was really hoping I'd have to pull it out of the environment, but I guess that, that was too much. Okay, what do we got? Uh, let's see. Lamp and a plant. Where's the plant? Because we've got a jar. Okay. What is this thing? I actually have no idea what that's supposed to be. What the heck is the plant? Oh. There's the plant. And there's the cube. There we go. Okay, so that time that didn't pop into existence. Maybe I'm just clicking too furiously. I don't really know. That's too big for me. Still too big for me. That? Oh. This might work. That's a nice subversion. I'm like, how am I supposed to climb this cube? This ain't gonna work. The answer is, it did work. I just needed to trust myself. Okay, so we gotta get up high. Uh, you know, now that I think about it, I can bring this with me. So I might as well. Uh, let's see. We want to make it a bit bigger. Okay, there we go. 
There we go. What? <laughs> Doc taped it down. Oh, friend door, you are coming with me. And I'm leaving you here. Goodbye. That door is going to have abandonment issues. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Okay. Onwards. At least my dreamscape is particularly helpful when it comes to providing me methods of moving around the world. Oh, did I? No, 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 no. There was a blocker door. I just got to figure out what I can interact with. Maybe this? Huh. That's confusing. I guess that's how the reflection works. Okay. Huh. Well, look, why is there an extra... Oh, I see. It's a bishop, not a pawn. That explained things. Oh, hey. A little bit more usefully. At least right now. Block! And it... Yep. Block, and up we go. Okay. But yeah, it's kind of nice my subconscious is just providing me methods of exit. Because I know in real life, I'd probably just be stuck in a box. No, I'd be stuck in a dorm room. I don't know, I've been having a lot of college dreams lately. Oh. Was not a bishop? I think that's a queen. I haven't played chess in forever. Well, have her stand imposingly there right next to the... Tiny ass door. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm monstrously huge now that I'm looking at it. What is this, a forklift for ants? Alright. Well, in that case, I'm gonna leave my mark on the world. I guess that's about as big as I think I'm going to get it. Maybe? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it much bigger than that. My screen's too small. I wonder if you had, like, a really wacky aspect ratio. If you could actually really mess with the perspective on things. Maybe. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. But yeah, I, I've just been having a lot of weird dreams about being back in college. Probably, in a lot of cases, it's like meeting new people and trying to get along with them. And I think that's very much just like a constant psychological psychological uh, subconscious fear of mine. You know, meeting new people and actually getting to know and interact with them for long periods of time is something that I'm good at. Kind of. What is this thing? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Okay, let's get rid of that. Uh... I want to have a very big door, so I'm a very small boy. Does it change the perspective? It does. Hmm. 
Now here's the next question. I'm gonna make it small enough that I'm a very large boy. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Big boy in the house. Alright, don't get lost. What if there's a fire in elevator? Don't meet sister-in-law. Regular person, three to five dreams per night. Beer fun, 550 Dakota. Oh, shit. Can I bring the moon with me? Thank you. You're coming with me, mini moon. Oh, and I bet this is going to scale me down. What? That didn't work. No, I've been scaled down. Shut up, alarm clock. It's 4 a.m., I know. And you know what that time it, time it is? It's time to end this episode because... Uh, nah. I don't know. I am overloaded on all sorts of new games, and I'm really having a good time with this one, but I have so many others to check out today before I come back tomorrow and probably play the rest of them. But this is pretty good. Obviously, I got stumped for a little bit there just because I couldn't get it through the hole. Uh, well, that sounded weird. Uh, get the one cube through the, the broken glass and onto the button. But, like, other than that, this has been a pretty smooth experience. It very much reminds me of Stanley Parable and Portal and... Uh, I swear there's like a couple more of those games. But I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. Uh, and it sucks that I have a time limit today of all days. I was like, eh, Tuesday's fine. You know, Star Wars and Pokemon are coming out on Thursday and everything else I have advanced keys for. And then it's like Superliminal, Rune, Bumbo, and Sparklight. And I'm like, no. And so here we are. Anyway, that's irrelevant to this game. So we should probably get down to the nit nitty gritty. So the game is out now. It's available on the Epic Game Store. I don't know if or when it's going to be on Steam. Uh, let's see. It, it doesn't say anything about Steam anywhere. So they don't even have a Steam page. My usual assumption is it's going to be available probably a year from now on Steam. That's, that's how it's worked for like every other game ever so i don't know anyway so it's available now epic game store for 16.99 17 bucks at least us dollars i have no idea what it's how much it costs for anybody else uh but i can only imagine that you know it's approximately somewhere around there so far i'm impressed i mean honestly if you've been yearning for for valve to make another game and they just haven't this is probably your best stopgap and it helps that uh you know, it's a fairly decent game, so that helps a lot. I don't know. I just... I want Valve to make more games, but at the same time, I'm kind of happy with how many different, uh... How many different developers have, like, kind of filled in the gaps. We're never going to get anything quite as good as Half-Life and Portal were back in the day. But we're getting a lot of games of the same flavor, and you know what? I'll be satisfied with that. Anyway, so last thing to say is if you do end up picking this game up, uh, Epic will specifically ask for an affiliate link. Uh, so I have one in the description below. It's just uh, super liminal, or no, it's Epic Games, store.epicgames.com slash wanderbot slash super liminal. And I get like 5%. I don't know, it's not a big thing, but it's nice. I should probably communicate this better to people, uh, so I'm going to do it. But like I said, link in the description below. Or just whenever you're buying anything on the Epic Game Store, you can put my name in and I get a small cut. Which I guess is about as shilling as you can get, but eh, shilling, I don't know. It happens. I, it, It's nice, it keeps this channel going. Makes it so I don't have to do ads for uh, Raid Shadow Legends or anything like that. I think mean, that's that's the one that everybody advertises, right? I don't know. I'm out of the loop. I don't. I barely do sponsored anything.s I'd prefer to do this where people buy the game and I get a small cut because I'm advertising. I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we've gotten wildly off topic. I had a lot of fun with this. I can't wait to get back to more of it. Uh, I will probably try and stream the rest of it too, but time is tough. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, one way or another, I guess I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and if you like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. I really gotta get back on my, like, actual professional game here. Because I, I am not... Eh, that's okay. <laughs>